Hey, it's Obi Chuku, co-founder of Kona Productions. Welcome to New African Metaverse. I really, really am excited and I want you to join the, the Discord community. Even if you're not interested in NFTs, even if you're, you purchase a few of the comics or you're not interested in the comics, there's going to be a lot of discourse around like really cool things that um, are real on the continent and, and real when you're talking about uh, societies that are progressing and what that means, right? Especially with societies that have a long history. And uh, the Discord community, the New African Metaverse Discord community, allows for that sort of discourse that a lot of communities in the uh, Metaverse world are not. It's usually just like cute or silly or sort of, oh, that's cool. Or, you know, that's interesting, but it's not really useful. Kind of like Metaverse worlds, where this is like, sort of like art imitating life and life imitating art. And one of the things in this um, um, metaverse is that, you know, we get to see characters um, like Kesey the Electron Girl, whose parents are shown in the, in, in the work and how they think about who she is and what she's doing, which is always something that has been interesting as a person who's the son of an immigrant, right? Um, first generation American, like, your parents' perspective kind of has a huge impact on how you're developing, whether if you're going to be a hero or a villain. And I feel like a lot of comics and a lot of anime are not don't really show that too much. It's like they remove that element. Or when, if you're a person of African descent and an immigrant, African immigrant, that's sort of a, a big way in shaping your worldview. And in Keys to the Electron Girl, there's a panel where the mom is so frustrated. It's the Ghanaian mom, and she's like, She's really wants Kesey, who loves electronic waste and tinkering and all that. She wants Kesey to be not like a nerd. And, that I'll, and, and I'll make it more clear. She didn't want her to be antisocial. Again, with the, in, in the new African uh, metaverse, particularly in Kesey Electron Girl, they're in year 2070 where technology is like at its peak, right? On the continent. So some of the issues we have here with social media and not being present, all this stuff, not being able to communicate um, physically with someone, now can you imagine it in 2070? So um, mom of Kisi Electron Girl, Kisi's a hero. She's going to be a hero. This is her origin story. Her mom is essentially like, I need her to be more social. I need her to have more hobbies that are healthy, that are not in a toxic waste environment amongst things that don't even talk, just objects. And so she kind of essentially makes a um, a uh, threat, <laughs> a, a common threat in uh, the African immigrant community where if you're not doing something well, they're going to send you back to the village. That like, So that's the, that's the idea. The threat is like to send, you know, the, someone who's in the future in a modern country or world or whatever, we're going to send you back to the village where there's tradition and things are a little bit harder and more social or whatever. And so she makes that threat about, um, I'm going to send you to the village where the only technology is a kerosene lamp. Kerosene is a type of gas or oil or whatever. Like, you know, in those old, like, maybe Dungeons and Dragons, those lamps where you, like, turn it. <laughs> and, like, so there's kerosene lamps. When I was in Nigeria in 2005, we actually had kerosene lamps. No electricity. So, again, um, this is sort of that story. And so I'm really excited for it. Um, I really want you folks to join the community where you can have this kind of discourse and share some of your experiences with, you know, um, dealing with parents, whether they're domestic or, um, or immigrants, and how they would um, essentially frame your viewpoint, particularly around technology. So, as usual, welcome to the New African Metaverse. Which side are you on?